Hey everyone, Brennan Snyder here, how are you? So I'm in the basement at Sound Exchange and it's that time. We are about a week out from Record Store Day and look at all the stuff that has come in so far. And this isn't even all of it yet. So uh, I'm being told by Anthony, the store owner, that the David Bowie hasn't arrived yet, that the Pearl Jam hasn't arrived yet. So there's still a bunch of stuff that is set to arrive, but we got a lot of cool stuff to go through here. And I wanted to go ahead and get a video filmed with some of this cool stuff so that you know what to expect and what some of this cool stuff is at Record Store Day, making it totally worth your time going out. Now, one of the cool things is these little mini three inch record players. So this one, a Beatles one, and it's got a carrying case too. So very cool. I don't know what these are going for, but this includes four three inch vinyls inside it says. So there you go, I know a lot of you guys want that. They've got a bunch of these here to go through, but let's start in with the vinyl. We got America uh, with the George Martin conducting the Symphony Orchestra live at the Hollywood Bowl, 1975. Next up, the Amboy Dukes featuring Ted Nugent, of course, Journey to the Center of the Mind. They found the um, stereo tapes, they've been able to remaster it and do this on vinyl. It also comes with rolling papers of all things. That's kind of cool. This is on Sunday's records. The best of Band X. This is uh, originally a 1976 release. We got Bebop Deluxe. Uh, this one here says it's an exclusive blue vinyl record store day release of the classic album. Uh, this one here, Futurama. I like this one here, Mark Bolin, T-Rex, Picture Disc, uh, this one here is, um, let's see, this is uh, Zinc Alloy in the Hidden Writers of Tomorrow. Uh, Zotro, <laughs> picture disc, it says. All right. Uh, all right, all you Stranger Things fans out there, Kate Bush fans, here you go. There's something for you. Uh, this one here, Eat the Music, picture disc. Uh, it's got Lily and Big Stripey Lie on it as well. Collective Soul Dosage. Uh, reissue of their album, 25th anniversary, uh, first vinyl reissue, it says, uh, limited translucent lemonade vinyl. Cranberries have a reissue, Bury the Hatchet. Uh, this one here says, first time with the complete sessions available on vinyl. So there you go. All right. The Cure Top Picture Disc. I feel like they've already done this, but <laughs> I could be wrong. I feel like I've seen that before. If it hasn't been for Record Store Day, there's versions of that floating around out there. All right. Dead by Sunrise. This is Out of Ashes, and it is Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park, project that he did 18 songs, two LPs, also includes a rare B-side and five live acoustic performances, limited translucent vinyl. This one is one I'm interested in. I'm super excited about it. The Dixie Dregs. The Great Spectacular, this was their demo uh, to getting them signed. This is a full album, it's got 10 tracks on it. Uh, they got some comments on the back side of it. Uh, Private Press debut album from 1975. How cool is that? If you're a Steve Morse fan like me, awesome. All right, I know some of you guys out there, especially my friend Chris Profi, Into the Dead Milkman, so this one here is for him. This is an exclusive limited edition, first pressing since the original 1987 release. Um, Lucky Fellini, I think it's the title of uh, this one here. All right, this is one I'm excited about. There's also a CD edition of this. We got The Doors, live at concert, thus set. I apologize if I just butchered that. Uh, this one here is live in Stockholm 68, first official release of the legendary Stockholm concert. It is a double uh, vinyl set here. Um, actually, I think it's a triple, I'm guessing, because it says side one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the end is only oh, all on one side. It's a limited numbered edition of 11,500. All right, we got the last in live picture disc from Dio. Very cool. It's only got three tracks, so I was a little bummed about that. Um, it's got, uh, let's see, yeah, it said three tracks, celebrates the 40th anniversary of this release. Uh, the Last in Line, We Rock, and Egypt, The Chains Are On, along with Children of the Sea. It's all one track, but um, so I guess technically four songs are on here. All right, another one that I'm super excited about, Def Leppard, One, Light, one Night Only, live at Sheffield in 2023. So a two LP set. 
of this exclusive colored vinyl edition of that. Emerson, Lake and Palmer, pictures at an exhibition. Uh, this one here, uh, 1971 album, says it's cut from high-res 24-bit uh, 96 kilohertz files. Whatever that means, you audio files out there know and understand what that means. All right, the English beat, what happened in original album remastered plus bonus LP with singles and remixes on limited edition yellow vinyl. Very cool. This one is one I wasn't uh, expecting or didn't know. Maybe it got announced after the fact, but I found it in the box here. I'll have to be uh, adding this one into the things that I hope I can get on Record Store Day, which is, sorry, I wasn't showing you guys, Excel. They're related to Suicidal Tendencies, the guitar player, uh, Adam Siegel, is a member of Suicidal Tendencies for a while and some other stuff, I think Infectious Grooves. Um, so this is Seeking Refuge, the lost third album from the Venice, California band. I've got the first two, really enjoy them. So I'm looking forward to that. There's a couple things in here that are like that this time, where there's these lost albums finally getting released through Record Store Day. The Faces, live at the BBC uh, sessions. This is a limited edition, two LP clear vinyl, um, double LP set. So awesome. We love Rod Stewart and the Faces. Uh, this was another one that I was uh, into. Fog Hat is a live show, uh, live in New Orleans, permission to jam 12 previously unreleased live recordings from two nights in 1973. It's from the original Master Tapes analog stereo. Things are going to start sliding around. Uh, all right, Forbidden, you metal fans out there, there's uh, their reissue of their fifth studio album for Record Store Day. Ace Frehley always seems to have something. He's got a picture disc of his latest album, 10,000 Volts. This is another one that I'm excited about. Golden Earring, the cut session. So the session recordings of everything for the cut album. Um, I don't know if this is around 85 or so. Limited to 1,500 copies. It's on crystal clear and blue marble vinyl. <laughs> And if they start falling over, I'll address it at that time, I guess. All right, man, the Grateful Dead, all you deadheads out there have something. Um, this one is a complete show from uh, October 16th, 1989. That's the first time on vinyl, limited edition to 10,000 copies, and it is mixed from the 24-track analog tapes, and it's in a box, which is really nice. All right, we got a couple of George Harrison things that are numbered. This is number 4,021. Here's a George Harrison, so picture disc versions of a couple of his solo albums. All right, there's the original cover, and then there's the picture disc side. They're just beautifully done. That's the nice thing. I really like that dark horse right in the middle. Meat Puppets, live in Montana on LP. It's got uh, three bonus tracks on this. This is another one that I'm excited about. Motorhead Remorse No. So this is a re-envisioning of the Motorhead album, no remorse it's the same track listing but they're different alternate versions so it's a limited edition double silver vinyl the 40th anniversary reimagined redo of the 1984 legendary compilation no remorse featuring previously unreleased rare and live tracks and new sleeve notes how cool is that man better than just getting a live album i say okay uh mr big lean into it live this is from their farewell tour uh, so we got Paul Gilbert, Eric Martin, Billy Sheehan from the original lineup, and their new drummer, Nick DiVergio, coming from Spock's Beard over here to help out with them on this. Uh, this one was listed as a record store day first. Some of these are. Uh, so it's supposed to get a wider release. I'm hoping that means a CD edition down the road. Uh, but I'm still picking one up just to, to be safe. So I've got it in the collection. The Offspring have a picture disc for Splinter. Cool art like those. You'll have to start a new pile. All right, here's one that I'm really excited about. This is the Alan Parsons Project, and it's done by Cooking Vinyl, and um, they're sending me a copy of this that I'm gonna get to open and review for you guys in advance. That should be a video later down the road. I haven't gotten my copy yet, so I hope Cooking Vinyl gets it to me real soon. They said it's in the mail. Uh, this one here is the Work in Progress for Pyramid. Limited edition, 180 gram, heavyweight orange vinyl containing demos, rough mixes, early songwriting diary versions for the Pyramid album. Love those things. All right, we got something from the Pixies here, live at Red Rocks, 
in 2005. Uh, this one here is just a legendary recording live performance. Uh, first time on vinyl, um, orange marble vinyl. Oh, all right. Iggy and the Stooges live at Locursy uh, Feasting 2005. Uh, this is a full uh, LP, so not just a couple tracks of it. Um, don't know if this one has a CD edition or not. It looks like it would because this label does those things, but uh, it's not always the case. There are some CDs, not as many this time as some of the past ones. Here's a really cool one, guys. If you're a fan of the Ramones, man, this is the 1975 Sire demos which got them signed. How cool is that? Um, so celebrating 50 years, the band formed in 1974, of course. Demos that got them signed to Sire Records. So. I want to be your boyfriend. Chainsaw 53rd and 3rd it is on clear vinyl. And this one here, the Rolling Stones. This is Live at Racket, New York City limited edition white vinyl recorded October of 2023. So this was the record release party for their brand new album. They went to this uh, place, they released it, and then unbeknownst to everyone else, performed a seven song live set now here on vinyl this is also listed as a record store day first which means it's going to get a wider release so if you don't get one it will get released again later All right the replacements not ready for prime time so this is a live at the cabaret metro 1986 limited edition two lp set from the replacements and uh doesn't say that it is uh you know colored or anything of that nature but it is a complete live show from january 1986 on the Tim tour. All right, let me see if I can get these mounted and stacked up, you guys. In fact, I'm gonna now move this stack so we got this one to go through. And I'm gonna put it here. Okay, let's get keep going. About uh, halfway through at this point. Hopefully you'll stick around for the whole thing. Screaming trees, weird things happening. Uh, this one here, demos from 1986 to 1988 four track cassette recordings. I don't know the quality of it. Hopefully they're pretty good, but that's awesome to be getting some early recordings from them. All right, some more metal stuff here. Seven Dust, heavier than seven. So this is seven singles from Seven Dust, 2005 to 2015 recordings pressed on black and red splatter vinyl. All right, got something from the Sisters of Mercy, a 40th anniversary of two classic EPs from 1984 on limited edition blue smoke vinyl. Okay. Great. Who doesn't like soft cell, man? Nonstop extended cabaret. Uh, this is an era defining nonstop erotic cabaret in full length extended versions. Not sure what that means. It is a two LP set on 184 vinyl. I admit, I'm not a huge, huge fan of them, but I do like, uh, of course, uh, you know, a couple of their singles and, and songs that are out there. This next one is one that I'm excited about, Sponge, Planet Girls. So this is another one of those lost albums. This is a lost album from 1999, um, uh, clear red vinyl, only 1,200 units of this. Doesn't say much about it, but ultimately the album that became New Pop Sunday grew out of this. But this is the original recording of the album that was turned down by the record label. Ringo Starr has Crooked Boy, this EP, um, let's see, this is a black and white marble. I think this is new recordings, I gotta say. I'm not entirely sure. February Sky, Adeline, Gonna Need Someone, and Crooked Boy. It's produced by Linda Perry. That's why I say I think this is something new. And if it is, holy crap, I gotta get it. <laughs> so I thought it was an older release of something of his. You know, they unfortunately don't always give us all the information we need up front, which is why I like to film these videos for you guys, because when you're in line and you're asking for stuff and people are reaching, you got to know what it is in order to, to get it. Joe Strummer, the Mescaleros, rock art and x-ray style. Uh, this is on Dark Horse Records, which is really cool. 25th anniversary with a remastering of the audio pink vinyl edition. And Sonic Youth, Hits Are For Squares. This is their only greatest hits compilation picked by uh, famous people. Uh, this says gold nugget colored vinyl. Um, Mike D, Beck, Radiohead, they all picked their favorite songs. Eddie Vedder picked one on here, Teenage Riot, and then that is what made this up because it never really had 
hits. They don't really have a greatest hit, so to speak, but that is as close as you're gonna get to it. it used to only be sold in Starbucks stores. Uh, that's where I had to go to get my copy of it. Then Lizzie, Live and Dangerous, man, uh, at the Hammersmith, November 16th, 1976, two LP live set. Now, I can't remember, and you might want to look this up. I think if you've got the box set that just came out from Live and Dangerous, it's already in there on CD, but I think it is the first time on vinyl. And then again, there's a number of those things. So do your homework in advance to know. Live at the Academy from television, Tom Verlaine and, you know, friends. Uh, this is uh, December, or sorry, uh, yeah, December 4th, 1992, performance. And they were together at that point. That's uh, bad, on, bad about me. Okay, Tesla Reel to Reel issuing it on vinyl. This is a clear red vinyl. I don't know anything else specific about it other than that, meaning it's speciality. It is a collection of their cover songs, which I've got on CD and had for a very long time and is very cool. Atomic, U2. Uh, so this is a limited edition, live from the Spear, Las Vegas, right? They released this digitally. You can check it out. I think you can even buy a CD single of the studio edition, but here is a live edition of it on translucent red vinyl man that seems to be the color for this uh, record store day so we got atomic city live at the sphere and we got atomic city the mike will made it per remix so you get a live track and a remix with that ub45 on vinyl uh no sticker nothing on the outside of this i'm not sure if this is a new album or like a greatest hits or something celebrating the history of the band but ub45 i i can imagine you know ub40 uh, becoming UB45 for the anniversary there. Ultravox remixes. This is number six. Um, Steven Wilson remixes, 12 inch. So that's kind of cool. Four tracks. I think it's four tracks. Looks like it. Um, hey, Tom Verlaine. So another thing related there to television. So this is the four solo albums on LP in this cool box. Metalheads, you got Voivon here. Uh, this one is The Wake. Um, I think it's just a limited run vinyl of the album itself. Nothing else spectacular about it. But again, you know, if these things weren't available on vinyl and you, you've been hunting for it and you're looking for it, I can imagine that it's cool for you guys. Wall of Voodoo live album. And we've got the Wall of Voodoo. I think this is a self-titled release of Wall of, um, from their album. Limited to 2,000 copies. Hey, got The weekend. Um, this is live at SoFi Stadium. They got that. The Who, the story of The Who. So this is a best of collection that's been out of print for a really long time. I've always loved that album cover of the pinball machine exploding on the front. If it was a lenticular cover and you could make it explode, how cool would that be? All right, we've got um, Wilco, the whole well, I think it says the love, uh, the whole love expanded. Sorry, I thought this was a live album, and they just put a uh, a circle there. But this is die cut out, so you can see through it. Works with the title there. Um, it says uh, includes the classics of uh, Art of Almost and some other stuff. Um, expanded into all related single EP and bonus tracks, plus selections from the Lost Archive of Live in Studio performances previously unreleased in alternate mix demos. Okay. Ann Wilson and Trip Setter. Uh, Trip Setter live in concert. That's cool. That's not available. All right. We got Five Live from the Yardbirds. And um, what's well, called Five Live? Five Live Yardbirds, I guess, is just it. But there's uh, 10 tracks that are on this thing. Kind of uh, throws me for a loop there. But their classic 1964 first live album. Then we get this here uh, Psycho Daisies. Not sure what this is. I'm, I'm excited about this now. Um, the first collection of UK and US Yardbirds B-sides mastered from the original mono single mixtapes. Wow, how cool is that? I love finding things like this when you go through it. I'm sure you guys experience the same thing when you're there at Record Store Day and you didn't know something was coming out and you find it. How cool is that? We get a live Yes album. And it's a good price too. This one's $24.98 here. Um, it's got four tracks on it, so I guess not, not that long. Um, first time on vinyl, it says a legendary live performance featuring John Anderson, Bill Bruford, Steve Howe, Tony Kay, and Chris Squire. All right, and the last one here to show you guys, New York, New Young 
fucking up. So this one here, the album itself is coming out in a couple weeks. You can wait for it. This one's got a lithograph included in it and is on clear vinyl. Uh, so hey man, it's an early release. If you're a big Neil Young fan, like some of us, uh, certainly me, uh, there you go. But man, all in all, a lot of really cool stuff. Like I said, it's not all here. So if you missed something, I didn't show something, might not be in, might just not be my cup of tea. I wish I could show you everything here. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of titles. I think we got about 350, give or take, that are coming out for this Record Store Day release. April 20th, be at your record store early for it. If you're coming here to Sound Exchange, hey man, I'm gonna be outside filming. You wanna be on camera with me? Come up, tell me so, do a little interview with you. We'll get you on. It's always fun to hear what people think about it, what people are looking for. And we're just gonna have a really good time. There's donuts, coffee, all that great stuff outside. So show up early at Sound Exchange. Hopefully your record store doing the same thing for you guys. All right, everyone, take care, have a good one, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.